what a fun day. We're having a lot of rain here in Fort Collins, Colorado. I've got the Springdale uh, 2013 camper. And this is Lulu. Um, hope you're enjoying your day. I sure am loving this rain. Two uh, axles on this. Sorry, it's not cleaned up. We'll get it all cleaned up for you. Tinted glass like the new ones. Overhead speakers and a big power awning outside plus storage just as you would see on any. Check out that nice big light there on the side. That's a sweet light. Um, you're also gonna have a couple of propane tanks ready to go and your battery set up there on the front. Let's go inside because it's raining and I can't do this for too long in the rain. Nice bedroom here as you come in. Ooh, um, you're gonna see the uh, bedroom here. Wipe the drops off on the right. Um, a little bit of moisture there on my lens. So checking out this bedroom, we put in a new mattress here for you. Um, so it feels like a new camper. This has a great floor. Check out this floor. It's not even going to show any of this mud. I've got my rain boots on. Um, <laughs> so here we have three drawers plus a cupboard for your clothes and extra storage up above. Three cupboards up above. That's gonna give you everything you need to make yourself comfortable in this camper um, as far as clothing storage. This window opens up wide and then um, you're gonna get that fresh air throughout the camper. So check out this, I'm gonna jump ahead. We'll hit the kitchen here in a minute. Check out this feature. This is the main feature of why somebody would really dig this camper. These windows, three big windows. This is a rear dinette camper with a big dinette booth, easily fit three to six people around the booth. You could add a couple of stools here too. Um, the pets friggin' love this spot. If you have a medium sized dog or cats you're traveling with, they will love you forever if you buy this camper and put a pad here for them to hang out on. Um, you can plug in um, something if you do need to. There's a power outlet there. All these windows open and they all have pull shades. So that's a nice feature for privacy. Um, and then so looking back to the kitchen, we've got a super sweet setup. Um, something you don't see anymore and the newer campers are not coming with these full-size ovens. Um, I love to bake. I love having an oven and that's going to fit a small turkey if you actually need to. And then a three burner stove that's actually spaced wide enough apart you can put real pots on. So, and then this is kind of a more functional cover and less breakable than the new glass ones. So, some advantages of going with older campers. I also want to point out this nifty little spice shelf here and a couple of drawers for your silverware and your pans and dishes and what have you. This is a double sink and you're also going to get that cutting board built in on top and then a nice little spot to uh, put some baskets or build some shelves or whatever to store your food and your dishes. Um, great overhead fan if you are cooking the fish you caught in your camper you can blow out that air um, I do want to point out the stereo system too this is gonna be fun for you to set up and use and then extra storage for whatever you want that looks like a hiding spot for a cat to me um, so what else can I show you here we've got a Dometic air conditioner that's a neat, uh, that's a neat air conditioner. It's going to work great. We'll also have a Dometic fridge freezer, and this is the full, um, size, you know, for a camper that's only less than 18 feet, you're getting a lot of, uh, fridge size and freezer size there. And that works on gas or electric, of course. And then an extra cupboard here. And that's also something you don't see every day. If you have guests, they're gonna be able to uh, store the clothes in here. And if you don't have gas, that's gonna give you the backup storage you need for you know, your dog food or whatever else you might have. And then a real quick look at the bathroom. Um, your furnace is gonna be um, accessible right here on those cold nights in the mountains. And then um, 
storage and a sink. So 18 feet campers don't usually have a sink and shelf space in them. This one does and it also has a nice medicine cabinet that actually opens up so you can keep all your bottles and things in there. Um, extra light, vent fan, skylight, and a real tub and then roll place to put your rolls of toilet paper there. So hope you enjoyed your tour. This is Lou Lou and I um, will be here to show you this camper personally. Um, and if I'm not here, anybody can show you this camper too. We'll hope to see you down here. Take care.